Three words to describe on track. Hmm. Um. Three words for on track. Wild. Live. Unique. Meticulous. Creative. Mad creative. Inventive. Inspirational as well. Pressure, fun, not that those two words normally go together. Crazy, emotional and amazing. <laughs> two words, amazing experience. Sixteen young people who do not know each other. Neat. Uh, people who couldn't find any positions in education and employment at the time. To get them to perform and create original score music. A lot of them are producers, uh, musicians, rappers, singers, and we've come together to collaborate and to produce a show. First of all, you get out of your comfort zone. Like, on the course you experiment so much and like the collaborations are so cool and yeah, they just bring the best out of you. I mean, I have sung before, but I've never wanted to be a singer. So it just allowed me to say, OK, do you know what? I'm just going to call myself a singer. I'm going to call myself a loop headless. Don't even know if that's the right term. And I'm just going to go with it. And that's exactly what I've done. <laughs> so it's allowed me to find myself in many ways and discover new things. The vibes, like, everyone's just focused on music. Everyone there's for the same thing. No one's messing about, so it's like, your focus is like, like, yeah, you can start something like this for me. And it's taught me a lot about collaborating with people. Collaboration gives you a completely different perspective and it makes you approach music in a different way that you wouldn't if you were doing it by yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's great, it's great. You achieve different levels musically. My role, I would say, is a bit like an uh, uh, studio executive producers because the young people themselves we encourage them to be producers to do their own music so I kind of help them with things like logic or any of the software they're using help them with mic techniques and help them to get their music together you know before I come here I, I was com I was that confident that I couldn't produce because I hate computers, I don't like computers. I was that adamant that I couldn't produce. I come here for not even six weeks, it was like two weeks into it and I finished my track on the computer, which is brilliant, so. The beats they've made are just ridiculous. Like, I'm, I don't even make beats like that. I've been making beats for like 15, 20 years. I mean, there's some that didn't even reveal their work until the end of week four, and you could just see the reaction. Jaws hit the floor. Hearing everyone's feedback about the songs that you're working on isn't something you can really get in many places, so I'm quite thankful for that. When you need some recreation, but without the complication, take a chance and live a little when you want. Yeah, the EMI was like it was good. Like the mic, it's just because the mic is so good that like the, the computer is so good, everything levels. You don't really need to do much. So the sessions are. I don't know if it's me having fun or if the sessions are just mad quick, but it feels like it's quick car. Everything is done so easy, like it's just so simple. If you just lay that bam, 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 done. So I walked in like, oh my god, there's so much equipment, there's so much mixing and stuff. There's just so much you don't know that goes into making a track. Then a Spider was like, yeah, just play the drums. I never played drums in my life. And then I just started playing along, and they was like, yeah, just do that. So it was nice that they gave me the opportunity to try it out and see if it worked to uh, mix it down, and it did. They give you that option. The industry talks have been really cool and it doesn't like it seems more accessible when there's someone sitting in front of you telling you like it's actually reachable if you just do things and plan your life and especially the fact that they're from different places like we've had independent record labels we've had like, major record labels and then we've had just other like creative people in the industry just coming to speak to us you know whenever you meet someone that has helped 
music artists as big as Ed Sheeran, then you know that these people, you know, they, they're there to support you and help you build you up. I've never heard of Secret Sessions before, and when I did see their website and the stuff that they showed us, that immediately said to me, that's where you would want, that's the kind of people that you want to be talking to. That's what, I'm not afraid anymore, I'm not afraid to go up to them and say, I'm an artist, whereas six weeks ago I, would, I wasn't calling myself an artist. <laughs> It's, it's incredible because you never know, whenever you walk through those doors, you never really know who you're going to meet, who's going to come in, who's going to talk to you. The performance is going to be on the 3rd of April. Super excited, like, you know, we have gets on. It's going to be one of those moments, like, you know, it's that shot, you know what I'm saying? You're going to see some good talent. You're definitely going to be, you, the collaborations and stuff that people are planning, if it all comes off, it's going to be pretty exciting. Do you know what, when I first started, I was really nervous, but the more we come to it, the more I just want to do it. So I think that just shows how much my confidence has grown. Be there early, don't miss anything. I enjoy it so much here and I see the progress as an artist that I'm making just by being here. It's made me decide that this is the right course for me and I can gain something out of it. So, Just to be in a place where people want you to be successful in whatever you're doing and believe in your own project is cool. On Track has been the best thing, the best course that I've ever been on. It's been really helpful and you know learning things about the music that I make and that People enjoy my music. So I'm really grateful that I got this opportunity and I'm excited to see where it goes. But the, the final thing for me is really seeing young people's development. And I'm not talking about what happens at the end of week six. I'm talking about where they're going to be in six months, you know, six years and beyond. If you see yourself as a musician, as an artist, and if you have the vision, like, on track, gives you the drive. It's definitely a good positive experience for any up-and-coming artist, someone who's trying to make music and get themselves established. Roundhouse is definitely the place to be. If you want to sing because you feel like singing, just sing. If you want to DJ, DJ. Like just, yeah, don't be afraid because you never know the opportunities are endless. I mean, in five or ten years, I swear that most of the superstars I'll be watching on TV performing at festivals and that will uh, have come from, from this building, which is phenomenal. Jump on. Like, just jump on. Don't even think about it. On track course, yeah, it's a good course, man. Like, they've done well.